of a range from 80 to 150 horsepower tractors that are coming through on that. We also have uh, combined harvesters that are coming through. And then uh, associated with that is the local manufacture of the other implements. In the past, we used to import even the disc arrows, but we said that we needed to localize the production of these attachments and only the complicated units, the tractor combine, and perhaps the planters are, that, are those uh, we import. But we are also uh, established a group called the Mechanization Development Alliance. There are about eight, nine companies, local companies, where we are looking at um, a generic framework for provision of mechanization. And we're looking at the whole mechanization value chain from land preparation units, infield units, harvesting units, dryers, and storage units. As you know, uh, the government has revised the strategic grain reserve from the 750,000 metric tons to 1.5 million metric tons physical store at GMB, made up of 1.2 million metric tons of maize and 300,000 metric tons of traditional grains. It means that we also need more storage. But specifically for tractors, I'm excited. We have about 10,000 working units in the country. And uh, we have estimated that we need anywhere between 30 and 40,000 uh, units for the large scale. But we have 2.7 million households who are still using a plow, who are still using a hoe. And a recent survey by Zimvac has shown that about half of the households do not own cattle. And therefore, they struggle with tillage. Hopefully, Fumfuza Intwasa can assist. But mechanization of Pumfuza Intwasa itself is a must. And we are importing 600 units that will give to service providers in villages two wheel tractors. And we think that in this space, we require about 35, at least 35,000 two wheel tractors to be able to mechanize the communal areas, the rural areas, so that we can get that productivity up. Thank you.